Hello again, and welcome to another Sibelius lesson. In this lesson, we're going to start looking at a couple of ways of customizing Sibelius symbols. Now, you will of course know that Sibelius provides us with a very large range of musical symbols, and that everything in our score ultimately consists of the symbols listed here in the symbols window. But sometimes we're going to require a symbol that's not provided by Sibelius. And if this is the case, we can customize our own symbols in the Edit Symbols window, which can be found by clicking the little arrow in the bottom right hand corner of the Symbols area. So in the Edit Symbols window, we have the option to edit an existing symbol or to create a new symbol. So I'm just going to click on New for the moment. And here in this next window, I can then select a music font of my choosing from quite a large list, as you can see. And then underneath that, I can select the symbol that I require from within that font. And you can see that once I've selected a symbol, it then appears on the right hand side. And I also have the option to move its position both vertically and of course, horizontally. Now, the great thing about the Edit Symbols window is that it allows you to create composite symbols. So a composite symbol is a combination of two or more symbols. And I can do this down the bottom right hand side of the window, where I have the option to add an additional symbol to my current symbol. So I'm just going to pick another symbol to add to the symbol that I already have. And you'll see that once I've done that, I can then change the position of the second symbol in relation to the first symbol. And I can also toggle backwards and forwards between the two symbols. And of course, I can also add even more symbols to my composite symbol if I wish to. And of course, once I'm done, I just hit OK, and then I can add and use my composite symbol just as I would for any other symbol in my score. So this is all well and good, but sometimes the symbol you would like to add to your score is there in the list of symbols, but it's either the wrong size or the wrong way around. For example, let's say that I need this particular symbol here, but I need it to be bigger and also turned around at 90 degrees. So what I have to do in this circumstance is to first edit the font from which the symbol comes, because all of our symbols come from fonts. So first I have to check out which text type the symbol I would like to change belongs to, and I can do that by selecting it and clicking Edit. And here I can see next to Music Font that it belongs to Special Symbols. So now I have to go back and then down the bottom of the Edit Symbols window, I click Music Fonts. And in Music Fonts, I'm then going to select Special Symbols and create a new text style based on Special Symbols. I definitely don't want to edit the original font because this will also change all of the other symbols in the score that come from that font. So I'm now going to change the name so that I can find it again later. And then I'm going to change the font size because I want my symbol to be bigger than normal. And I'm also going to change the font angle to 90 degrees. Hit OK. And now we have a text style set up for our symbol. And so we just have to create the symbol itself. So as before, we select New in the Edit Symbols window. And when we look through the list of music fonts, we should then find our new text style. And you'll notice that in this text style, because everything's been turned around at 90 degrees and made bigger, our symbol is a little bit harder to find than before. So if you can't find it, go back to the original symbol and look for the symbol number, which can be found here. So either copy the number, control C, or just remember it. Then go back again to creating your new symbol. and add the symbol number. So once I've got my symbol, I can then press OK, and we can then see that symbol listed at the bottom of our symbols window, ready to use. And of course, now that I have this symbol set up just like any other symbol in Sibelius, I could also use it in composite symbols. So this has been a quick introduction to customizing symbols, and in the next lesson, we're going to go a level deeper.